Right here we're looking down the trail that I opened up that goes down to the side creek and then follows that creek down to Turner Creek at the bottom of my property. And at one time behind me, behind us here, the other direction, there's a little meadow where I kept a salt lick for, for deer to come through. And now it's just carnage. And you can uh, get a good look here at uh, what once was a beautiful meadow. I found this yesterday unexpectedly when I came up to my property for the first time over the course of the winter. You see there's a tree that's cut down. And these little trees here have been badly. Right in here was where the salt lick was. Now you can see the And this is all because my neighbor wanted to widen the, the 30 foot easement, according to him, so that he could bring his manufactured home up. He didn't bother to call me before he did this. And I did not give him permission to create this kind of carnage. It's all torn up. I guess right in here is where the salt lick was. Imagine what it would be like to come up to your 40 acres that you own outright, you own all the trees, not the, not the bank, and to come around the corner and see this. Can you imagine? What would you think? Would you be happy? Would you think it right that your neighbor did this without talking to you? You can see my, my campsite down there. This area up here was a buffer from the road. Now the road looks almost right down on my camp. So much for the beautiful trailhead that uh, I had here. I am confident that through a simple conversation before the project started, this could have been prevented. And the road still would have gone in. And here's something that's really silly. You see? Look at that leaning tree over there. I'm going to zoom up so you can see it. They cut down all these trees, and then they, lift, they left that silly tree there, leaning out over the road. Now, of course, it's off the road, but if, if we'd have had a conversation about it, we could have taken that down. It's a junk tree. Don't misunderstand. I've had loggers in my family since the 1880s. I live in a wooden house. What I do believe, though, is that a good neighbor would have talked to you first. I have to believe that before they lift, left you this kind of mess to find when you came up to your property. No phone call, no letter, no communication at all. Today is June 10th, 2009, and it's about well, almost six o'clock. You can hear the birds in the background, I hope. At least there's still some birds around. Take a look at this. Just look at how this is all. Look. I can't even walk through here without... <sighs> like I said, this was a beautiful meadow. Now look at it. There's my shadow. Look up on the hillside there. 
This is beautiful country when you respect people. This road had a good surface on it before this. It's kind of like the my driveway here. You can see how they kind of just uh, this area here, right there that I'm looking at. That ought to be really done differently so that my driveway isn't so narrow. It wasn't so narrow before. In addition to all of this, you can see I've got a posted sign right here, down here by my campsite. This neighbor of mine, Jake, took down my boundary markers and didn't replace a marker so that I don't know where they are. He also took down my posted signs. And they were like this one, at least one of them. You can read that real clearly, I hope. Posted, private property. No hunting, fishing, trapping, or trespassing for any purpose is strictly forbidden. Violators will be prosecuted. That seems pretty clear to me.